Okay, so today we're going to talk about Instagram marketing. Yeah. Yeah, we used to, me and my friend, we used to make bags. Yeah. Um, at, and I had like, first I used to sell friendship bracelets. I am, uh, yeah. I used to make those. Yeah, make and then I moved on to bags. We were called Mad Cow. <laughs> Mad Cow Bags. No, it wasn't called Mad Cow Bags, it was just called Mad Cow. That was the name of our label. Yeah. Yeah. Lots, lots of bags. What sort of bags were they? Like? They were like, sort of no, they were like, we got fabric and we'd make like a bag, like a little satchel kind of bag and it would be like a crossover satchel bag. Yeah. People pay money for that. Yeah. It was cool. It was really cool. We made some sweet ones out of cool. <laughs> yeah. So guys, we're just talking about how enterprises. Oh, oh I know you're recording. <laughs> um. <laughs> Let's do it. So. Yeah. So how did we start with our Instagram? We started off by creating a few pictures, I guess. Oh yeah, I think we got some pictures together and then we got our Instagram page. Or we did it the other way around, I can't remember. We were like, we just need to get on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, so I think uh, it's quite hard to get started. But I think yeah. what we do to help grow that number is engage with a lot of other people and like their stuff, uh, comment on their stuff. That helps. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and just having good content obviously helps definitely as good well. Content, so yes. in posting regularly, uh, that helps to sort of boost your um, page a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So we didn't want to just just post forms, or that could be a little bit boring. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've tried to think of different things around forms. Yeah. Plus we got our little lemon character. Yeah, yeah. Um, a simple approach to growing your followers. What have you done so far on our Instagram? We actually, when we write a blog, we post on Instagram and we put the link to, are we putting that in the bio? Yeah, or we're put putting, the yeah bio. so we yeah. put the link to the blog in the bio, so um, if someone's interested, then they can click from Instagram to go to our website where they can see our blog. We haven't really done any marketing as such, it's really just our, our main feed, I guess you could say. Yeah. Um, it may be something that we look at, and we have seen some others where they have it where they'll have an ad and it clicks through basically to a sign up and has quite a nice process of signing up. Yeah, so that's something yeah, that's I think something we could look at. once we get our new website that's something we'll definitely be looking at. We can't wait for this new website. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so I think one thing you've got to be careful of and I know we mucked it up a few times is because of the squareness of your images that's right. you forget sometimes to look at the wall. Mm. And you see ones that are being cut off where we might be standing like this and you're sort of out the side yeah. and then you look at it and it's like, no one's there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's, that can be a problem. And then they have to drill into the photo, which for me, I, I don't know, like maybe I use Instagram different. Like, I guess when you're doing it for a business, you just have to think differently, don't you? Yeah. I mean, when you're drilling through, you know, you're going click, 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 looking at people's stuff. It's okay with that sort of image, but you also got to just think about that yeah, wall, the full, but the full wall, yeah, because otherwise it can look kind of messy. Mm. I'm not really a big fan of the whole create an image out of six images. That sort of. Oh, thing. I like that. Really? I think that's cool. Yeah, yeah. It just like bombards their wall. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I think it's good um, because when I see a feed like that, and it's like a piece of a picture. And then like a few photos after I've scrolled, it's like another piece of a picture and then another piece of a picture. I'm going to click on that profile because Just I'm going to see it. what the full picture is. Yeah, I like, <laughs> I like it. it. Mm, it's half a picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah. People are different, eh? Yeah. yeah. What are some of the other things I've seen recently that people have been doing? So I don't like it if, if you look at it, a wall of somebody's Instagram page and it's all got writing on it. That yeah, no, I don't know that either. Like all those motivational quotes and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I don't mind the odd motivational quote. Yeah, but if yeah, it's like yeah. All, for all of them, it's. Mm, mm -hmm. Do you no. know what? People like people as well. Like people like photos of people. Definitely, yeah. Um, so if you can get some people in your mm. uh, photos, it definitely yep. helps, I think. Yep. Anyway, that's just sort of us rambling about our Instagram feed and yeah. what, what we're thinking um, along. Yeah, we're not really very scientific about it, as you can see, but. We're slowly growing, oh, yeah. and um, slowly. we do know, find that some people will just, just follow you and then unfollow you the next day, but you get that. Mm -hmm. No biggie. No yeah. biggie. Um, you want the people that want to engage with you, that's, that's really the key thing. Mm -hmm. And you, it's not just about the number of followers either, it's about quality of followers that actually are interested in your stuff. That's right. Uh, yeah. 
who needs a million followers if they don't even look at your stuff and not yeah, interested? Yeah, yeah. 